we are at American Legion Post 325 Field. The gates open at 6 p.m. and we have a packed house tonight. It's the second game of this two-game series between the visiting Bristol State Liners and the Danville Otterbots. Appalachian League Baseball on this Thirsty Thursday. I'm Jim Furchwin, both brothers from Algonic, Michigan. Stevenson stats one, right field and carrying. Smith Jr. will go over his head. Stevenson has extra bases, retrieves it, and it's a stand-up double for Grant Stevenson. The 2 one pitch, Stevenson lets it go. It gets past Kennedy. Here comes Murphy, and it's 1-0 Autobots. Wild pitch. Spears. Missiles one in between the hole, left side. This may score two, no, one will score, and that will bring home Cruz from third. We are tied at one on an RBI single from Will Spears Jr. We are knotted up in Danville. Next up, Sean Smith Jr., and that did hit him on the little edge of the elbow. May have grazed the elbow and gone into the glove of Ayers, and Bristol takes the lead, two to one, and that crosses Mengual home. We've seen much of Garcia so far yet, but 5-9-170 out of St. Cloud, Florida, lines one to left field. This may test the arm of Carr. Carr will let it go, and this will cross Arado home. A sack fly to left for Jeremy Garcia, makes it 3-1 Bristol, three unanswered for the state liners in the sixth. The 0-2 pitch, popped up, right side of the infield. Acker goes into the outfield. Garcia waves him off, and he drops the ball. Miscommunication between Acker and Garcia with two outs in the inning. That brings home another, and that's Spears Jr. crossing home plate, and it's 4-1 Bristol. 1-2 pitch, Slayton. Sautés one to the right side, and will stay fair. And you have Smith will cross home plate. An RBI single for Luke Francisco. And the runs keep on adding up for Bristol. It's 5-1 state liners. Bottom of the six, RJ Johnson will lead off. Then Stevenson and Garcia Jr. And Johnson cranks one. Deep right center field looking up off the top of the wall. Smith Jr. thought he was seeing a home run. And RJ Johnson with the longest hit in this ballpark off the very top of that right center field wall and he has a leadoff double a little concerning for Wyatt Sutton the coordinator fun almost went through a table in the break and he took him about 15 20 seconds to get up and garnered down the right field line that'll drop fair Henry Garcia has extra bases this will bring home Johnson Jr. and Garcia's got wheels looking for three and he's got a stand-up RBI triple and it cuts the deficit to three it's 5-2 Bristol after that Spears hit that brought home an RBI in the sixth Ryan Carr has the lowest batting average on the year but forget that now an RBI single the opposite way brings home Garcia and it's 5-3 now I spoke a little too soon but Carr that'll feel good his second hit of the year after coming in one of 20 now two of 23 1-1 one, one pitch from Ezra chop to the left side diving play from Spears it gets past him Luke Stevenson will cross third and score, and it's a RBI double for Grant Stevenson. Cuts into a one-run game, it's 5-4. Renzinski from the stretch, the one-two pitch. Slider, right center field. Tomlinson on the horse, and a diving catch made by Smith Jr. No, it falls off his glove, and Stevenson will come in for his third double of the night. The pitch. Bradshaw, right to short. Mangual goes back over the play at first. He's out, they rule him out at first. It looked like Bradshaw may have beat it out and the game ends on a 6-4-3 double play.